the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has funded many critical and commercially successful technologies. This is the story of one of them. One of the challenges of flying high-performance aircraft is the dramatic fluctuation of ambient light levels that occur during flight, which make it difficult for pilots to monitor their plane's electronic displays. The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has invested in technologies that address this problem. The Glenn H. Brown Liquid Crystal Institute at Kent State University is a world-renowned center for the study of liquid crystals. Bauman Tahiri was a professor and liaison for the Industrial Partnership Program when he learned of a problem faced by Air Force pilots. The initial problem is that the pilots are given one visor, but they're going to experience different lighting conditions, and they're going to experience it in very fast time scale. They go above and below the clouds. So they needed a technology to change the tint of the visor instantaneously whenever they wanted it. Ba Man Tahiri and two colleagues formed a company, Alpha Micron, applied for and won an Air Force SBIR contract, then began their search for a solution. The typical liquid crystal displays or devices that you see is based on flat glass and they're designed to give you a really good black state or dark state. Whereas for this particular application you want it curved, you want it plastic, and you want the best clear state. So it's completely opposite of what is already out there. So we have to solve both the material as well as the process related issues and that has taken us 15 years to solve all the problems associated with it to be able to meet all of the requirements for the military. The Alpha Micron E-Tint technology developed under the SBIR contract has widespread applications, not just for pilots and military personnel, but in civilian transportation, in architecture, as well as high-performance sports. The um, motorcyclist, when he goes in and out of a tunnel, he has to be able to change the tint of its um, motorcycle visor, so you can do that by just pressing this button. It has another option where you can press and hold, then when you turn on the light, you can actually do it automatically. As with any kind of military product that comes in there, there's a commercial sector that really wants it. And in this one, there are a lot of people who have the same exact problems that the pilots do. Alpha Micron's product line now ranges from military-grade bulletproof goggles and visors to a line of high-fashion eyewear and clothing. Eyewear industry is an enormous industry that hasn't really changed very much over the past 50 years. And this is a brand new revolution in terms of how um, eyewear is viewed and how eyewear is used. With production deals in the U.S., Europe, and Asia, their manufacturing and assembly operation in Kent, Ohio, has a backlog of orders. And the demand is growing for their liquid crystal technology developed under the SBIR program. I think the SBIR is perhaps the best program that the government has to create new technology. It not only provides it with the funds that is really needed to start something brand new, but it also provides it with an exact product that you need to work toward. So it's no longer just build it and they will come. It actually tells you if you build it, they will come. The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program, opening the window of opportunity for new businesses to succeed. Learn more at www.afsbirstr.com.